What's going on guys? This is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another Minecraft video and in this one this is a kind of like a part two because I said I would make this video in my last Minecraft video in which I showed you guys how to set up a cool a market economy type thing with money. And in this episode what we're going to be checking out is how to make um, if you see on the right you see that scoreboard with a colorful uh, colorful admin uh, text next to my name. We're going to figure out how to do that in this episode and we're also going to show you guys how to make this floating text because I've got floating text in the middle of the sky and so cool. <laughs> we want to make, make that. So uh, if you guys enjoy this video be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new and want to see more stuff like this or any of the other stuff on my channel. So uh, anyways let's go ahead and get straight into this and um, I don't really need to spend any more time here because this is not where we're going to be demonstrating it. So let me go ahead and load up a fresh new world and we will check out how to do um, stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I'm back on the world we were in last video, in which I uh, showed off uh, cool command block thingies. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and create uh, even more scoreboards. This uh, The first part, which is how to uh, make colorful thingies by your name, uh, colorful text, or just turn your name a color in general. Um, yeah, we're going to need to create another scoreboard. So what you want to do is, uh, I'll leave the commands down in the description below again, as well as the links to... Uh, a download for something that we can use to create the fancy admin text because that actually requires an external program to create but it, it it's pretty uh, simple to use so first things first we want to create a scoreboard uh, teams we're going to use teams this time and what we need to do is create a team uh, we can go ahead and add a team and we'll call this um, dark underscore red and then you can go ahead and click that, add a new team, dark underscore red, successfully. And that's the color we're going to be creating, uh, we're going to be using for this uh, this team. So then I can go ahead and join myself by typing slash scoreboard teams join, and then dark underscore red. And then after that, we can go ahead and come up here and backspace all this, and go ahead and type option for dark red. And we can go ahead and set the color of it to dark red. And now as you can see on the right hand side in money I have my then my name has changed to a dark red color. And you can do this with basically any color in the game. If you press tab, you can see a list. We've got aqua, black, blue, dark aqua, dark blue, dark gray, whole bunch of stuff. I can I can be gold. <laughs> it's freaking cool. So uh, yeah, that's the first part of color names, and then for the second part of the color names, you're going to need to download something called NBT Explorer. And um, let me go ahead and pop over to that real quick. Two hours later. All right, so once you're in NBT Explorer, uh, it should look like this. I'll leave a download link in the description for this. It's pretty simple to download. Um, so once you get to NBT Explorer right here, you should see something called Saves right here, and then all of your Minecraft worlds listed. Um, and so if we go ahead and select on our world, which is called Stuff and Stuff, uh, original name, if we go ahead and click this plus right here, and then go down to Data, and then click Scoreboard Dat, and then click Data right here, and then go to Teams. It's a pretty long list. And then click this. You should see something like that. Uh, and then you should see something down here called... Uh, prefix right here so what you want to go ahead and do is click on this and click on edit and then you can type in whatever you want to be like a prefix on your name so you could type in like uh, I don't know the uh, the coolest person ever space <laughs> and then what you want to go ahead and do is click OK and if you want to leave that part of your name, whatever color you set it to, and your name, whatever color you set it to, you just leave it like that. But if you want to uh, make only your this part, the prefix, the certain color, which would be gold, then you want to go into this suffix right here, click edit, and this right here, this little symbol in R, you want to copy that, and then you want to come over to here, the prefix, press edit, 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 <laughs> sure, and then just paste that in there. And that way, only this part will be, in this case, gold or whatever color you choose uh, to put there. So if we go ahead and click OK and then pop back into our Minecraft world, 
you can see now that on the right I have the prefix the coolest person ever in gold in front of my name now the only problem with this is that you cannot put a space like between your prefix and your name because it just deletes that empty white space because it doesn't recognize it for some reason I don't know so uh, that's the only drawback to this whole uh, prefix thing but other than that you can have a prefix that says that you're the coolest person ever in gold because gold is absolutely you know incredible um on your minecraft world <laughs> so it's pretty cool and uh so yeah that's basically how you do all this stuff and you can actually create several different scoreboards or several different teams for each individual person in your minecraft world if you wanted to so say i had another person named billy bob and i wanted him to have a purple name i could create another scoreboard called billy bob and set the color of that to purple and then billy bob would have a purple name so it's a uh, pretty cool and um yeah it lets you turn your name colorful so let's go ahead and move on to the second part of this video which will show you guys how to make floating text all right so for this next part of the video we're going to be using a website called MC stacker to generate our command now what this is basically does is you can create a very very detailed custom command like you can customize this in a bunch of different ways to create virtually anything and it saves you the uh, having to type all that crap out because some of these commands can get freaking long <laughs> I actually used this a while back to create my uh, haunted manor ghoul, that ghoul that would like scream at you and tilt its head sideways and sit down and all that crap and have arms and stuff. It was pretty cool. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool and we're going to be using this just to save time and so you don't have to type all this out and potentially make an error or 10,000 errors. So, so yeah, we're going to be using this. So uh, I'll leave a link to this website in the description so you guys can use this. And um, basically what you're going to do is come down here to the middle of the page where all the cool stuff is. And this should be set to command type summon. If it's not, uh, which I don't know why it would be or wouldn't be, go ahead and set it to summon. And then the entity down here you want to set to armor stand. We're going to be using that to display the name. Then over here you want to come over to name and go ahead and type in your name. So uh, we're going to go with... Um, Let's go with magical, uh, magical, flying, text, smiley face, uh, smiley face. There we go. All right. So once you have that, you do not want to click this hide name right here because that will make the text invisible. Just to clarify. And uh, over here, you want to come over to the left, and there's a few boxes we have to click right here. First thing I want to click is no gravity. So if someone breaks a block underneath the uh, armor stand, it will not fall. It'll just stay in midair. You want to click invulnerable so that way like if you're having pvp in the area and someone like hits the armor stand with a diamond sword it will not break even though it's invisible it can still be hit then after that you want to come down here to invisible and that basically turns it invisible it will still display the text though and then finally you want to click persistence required now this is basically just like uh it makes it so that the armor stand will never despawn unless you uh, delete the world <laughs> so uh yeah that makes it invincible I want to be invincible. Can I do that? <laughs> but then once you have all that selected, should look something like this. You want to go ahead and come up to the top or to the bottom. It's the same command. And you want to go ahead and copy that. So then you want to go ahead and come into Minecraft and place down a command block like this. Go ahead and paste in your command and set it to always active so that it'll just spawn in. Click done. And now we have magical flying text. You can't, you can't break it. <laughs> I'm trying to punch it as hard as I can. You can't break it. It's invisible. You can see the text and, uh, well, pretty cool. <laughs> the only drawback is that you cannot color this text. And I don't know how that would even be possible. Hopefully they'll make it so that you can color names in the future. But um, until then, yeah, no colors. Sorry. <laughs> So yeah, but yeah, that's pretty cool. You could use it for like some sort of futuristic base as like signs or something. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's pretty cool and um, you can use it for stuff. Yay. <laughs> so that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed me uh, being coming the coolest person ever with fancy gold text and then making uh, magical flying text. The sorcery is so real. <laughs> All right. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. The moon, the moon is rising and um, I'm juggling command box. Yay. Okay, goodbye.